In this video, we will be talking about census, non-response, and undercoverage. Recall that a sample is part of the population that is taken out for examination. We use a sample to draw conclusions about the population because it should be representative of the population. The larger the sample size, the more representative it tends to be of the population. An even more accurate way of getting data about a population is by taking a census. A census surveys each and every person of a population. However, we have to be aware of the problems about sampling in general. When we are sampling, we cannot force someone to give us information. The respondents can choose not to be contacted or can choose not to answer. This is called non-response. On the other hand, we can have people in a population that have absolutely no chance of being included in the sample. This is called undercoverage. For example, if a researcher wants to gather a sample by calling random phone numbers, there are three possibilities. The first possibility is that the other person picks up the phone and allows him or herself to be interviewed and be part of the sample. The second possibility is that the other person just hangs up the phone. This would be non-response because they are choosing not to answer. The third possibility is that the phone number does not exist. The researcher can call as many phone numbers as he wants, but the problem is is that not everyone has a phone number because they do not own a telephone. As a result, people that don't own a telephone have no chance of being included in the sample. This would be an example of undercoverage.